Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to or because I think it would be easy but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Well, both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Do you hear that? Oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. Uh... Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. <laughs> She looks awesome! It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shears! Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. 
One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. I got the stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Gabriel the warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Uh, flint and steel, not too shabby. Give me a dragon war, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win. Because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. <laughs> Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope, preparing is daring. Nope, that's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three, team. Prepare. <laughs> Oh, my God.
We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. <laughs> oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Uh, ah, ah. Hmm. Nope. Thank you.